day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. Yes. When those people came with those stones to stone this woman. Yes. I mean, there were so many things that he could have said about that. Hmm. And, 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 and only those people who were there and God and Jesus and that woman know what was written in that saying. You, you just, and it's not for us to know or it would have been in there. But the fact is that these people didn't even examine themselves, but was yet trying to stone someone else to death. Hmm. Deep, and, yet, and yet in doing so they would have to stone on themselves that is which it. is why they walked away yeah you know you said so i don't know if you cut that's very profound now listen everybody listen that's very profound because you said also in the prayer in the prayer god responded to you of what you need to do you see you remember the time on a prayer about it, it, but it, it reflect back to you what you need to do. Yeah. Not and then I think about the prodigal son. Remember what he said? He came to himself. Yeah. Adam, where are you? You. We yeah. all know that that was not a question of where he was physically located. Yeah. Adam, where are you? You're not where you're supposed to be. And maybe one of the messages God is trying to tell all of us is, look at you. Yeah. You and look at what Adam did. He, he, at that point, he was already a, a default human because Ooh. his default wasn't God anymore. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. His default was Satan. Uh -huh. And the first thing he did when, where are you, is he made an accusation about somebody else that sounds like what well, that's a pattern isn't it it's yes. easy to go from the hey. from the beginning the it, accusation is it, it was never self-examination it was always pointing to somebody else and when we when we reach out and talk about that that's the same pattern brother that all the way up to 2022 the same consistent pattern i got to blame somebody else don't look at me look at somebody else they even talking about even with russia right now with this ukraine thing they're trying to turn that around <laughs> any way they can yeah. to justify what they want to do yeah wow think about it that's the pattern of, of devil, of people, mankind. That's the default. It's not me. Look at that person. Look at look at Eve. Hey, Adam said, look at Eve. Don't, don't look at me. Yeah. Eve, Eve said, no, 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 no. Oh, no, he even no. pointed to God. It was that woman you gave me. Oh, Lord. <laughs> oh, Lord. Wow, brother. It does not a pattern of our life. Everybody okay. listening, somebody got, I know somebody, this is not for us either. This is, the, hey, look, flesh and blood didn't reveal this right here. This is a, <laughs> this is real. God has said, that's why he said, I already know what you need before you ask. And keep in mind, I know what you need. Not, not, yeah. not, 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 not what you want done to somebody else. I'm focused on your needs because it's all about you and me, God, and you, not not other people. You know what I mean? Man, that's deep. I don't know, I got to chew on that, but that, does that make sense? That is a consistent pattern. That's what Jesus was telling those people that would pick up those stones. All I'm asking all of you is examine yourself right now. And no, I just need to make sure that the person who got their act together be the first one to cast the stone. That's that's all I'm asking you to do. And then now we're talking about verbal stones. 
Man, what was all saying? Stick and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. In reality, words do hurt. And sometimes words have more lasting effect than physical. Correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's that's deep, bro. I got you on that one, because that, that makes sense. Let's look at the uh, Lord's Prayer here. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna wrap it up real quick, because I want to get to 1415, but I want to Let's go to the prayer itself first and give me your, your exegy on that. After this manner, therefore, pray. Of course, the disciples asked Jesus. Yeah. You know, how, how, how do we pray? Yeah. Says, Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, mm -hmm. will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Yes, sir. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our debts <laughs> as we forgive our debts. Uh-huh. And lead us into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Yes. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Amen. That is the prayer. That is the prayer. Then it goes on. This part is not the prayer. Uh -uh. This so part 14, 14 and 15 is not the prayer. Hey, look. But it goes up and says, For if you forgive men their trespasses, uh -huh. the Heavenly Father will also forgive you. Forgive you. Yes, but sir. if you forgive not men their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive you, forgive your trespasses. Right. So that is, and people always tie that <laughs> to the prayer, uh -huh. but it is not the prayer. It's not the prayer, but I think it's almost like he said, he, what, what he did, he took a key component of the prayer and reflected back to it. Forgive us yeah. our debts as we forgive our debt to us. Yeah. He, he, he said, I need to make sure y'all understand what I'm saying about that verse 12. Obviously, it's important. It is important. <laughs> that, that part of that prayer was important. Yeah, he restated it, basically. He broke it down in pieces. He's the first to have forgive us our debts. Got it. That's what you want, right? You want me to forgive you of your debts, your trespassing, your sin. You asking me. You remember you said, you even said it when you said it when you took your prayer. It's like, I want to talk about somebody else, but you 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 point back to me. Yeah. So so I'm telling you, God is saying on this one is for when you ask to forgive us of our debts. As we forgive, he, 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 he reflected back to you again. As we forgive our debtors, he's talking, reflecting back to you first. He's saying, I'm going to forgive you, but I need you to do the same. And now you don't get that. Let me tell you 14. For if you forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly father will also forgive you. But if you forgive not their trespasses neither would your father forgive your trespasses that goes all that's that's he's trying to tell us something he's telling us look guys y'all y'all can't i'm saying that that goes back to my title you ain't got time to fault find somebody else because if you find it falls to somebody else you're not forget you're not forgiving them you're pointing them out, and yet you want your father not to fault find you. Cause that's what happens. You got fault. Those people that, that was going to throw that stone, they all had faults. And once they examined their own faults, they walked away. And if we don't learn that not find we got to do the same thing for forgiving people their faults and not try to highlight their faults and hide our own because that's what you do when you do that and we got to understand that this is not talking about sin no it could be any trespass is it trespasses this is something that someone does to you yeah it's something that you do to others yes this is not this is not committing sin yeah. Because your sins have been forgiven. Yes. 
So this is this is this is something completely different. It what it, to me is important the fact is that whatever you did to somebody, you need to treat somebody just like you treat yourself. Yeah. Well, you need to make sure if somebody does something to you, mm -hmm. you need to forgive them. Yeah. Because obviously you're not perfect. Nope. Well, let me let me make this personal. If I need to forgive people that do things to me, mm -hmm. because there are things that I do to others knowingly and unknowingly mm -hmm. that need to be forgiven. Of. Exactly. You know, um, and so my father is going to hold me accountable. Yes. That's the whole point. He's holding if I don't. So in that fact of the matter is there could be an area of my life yes. that is not covered no. because I am not forgiving. No, exactly. You're not forgiving for you did something and you spent yet at the same time you want grace, you want mercy on you, but you give no grace or mercy on certain things or certain people. You know what I mean? Yeah. And that's why you're trying to say that self-examination. That's what I'm trying to tell you people earlier when I'm saying is, okay, when I say love one another, and when you tell me God hated somebody, you, you're trying to equate yourself first, I think, equal to God, opposed to being what God telling you is, yes, Esau did wrong, correct? Esau mm -hmm. messed up his descendants messed up you messed up <laughs> right <laughs> you personally mm -hmm. messed up you want to forgive you want forgiveness for your mess up then you forgive them for their mess up and on top of that they didn't even do nothing to you personally in the first place so why found you know why find fault in them instead of praying for them mm -hmm. and forgive that's all i'm just saying that's the whole purpose when he said love one another as i have loved you and the thing about it is his love is different a lot of people go to the extreme when they say as i have loved you it means that well you need to get on the cross i need brother addison need to go get on the cross for everybody <laughs> he's not asking you to do that matter of fact that was just a mechanism to what cleanse you of your sins and put the blood to cover your sin but he loved you because he was willing to do that if that was necessary to be done you know but he's not asking you to get on the cross for everybody he's not asking that he just asks you stuff just forgive people just like i've forgiven you that's all he's trying to tell us is forgive one another not fight you know that's why we have a ministry of reconciliation you know what I mean? I mean, that's where the whole purpose started at all. The ministry of reconciliation. We do not have the ministry of death. We do not have the ministry of condemnation. Christ did not come to condemn the world. He came to save the world. Yeah. So your my, our mindsets is to be in the saving mode. Our mindset is, you know what I say, give and it shall be given. Well, that, isn't that principle? We talked about that one more time before, right? That's a principle. Give and it shall be given. So what? If you give hate, what you gonna get? You gonna you gonna plant hate? Yeah. 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 If 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 you don't forget, oh brother, really? What he's trying to say? The other principle. How can you get forgiven if you don't plant forgiveness? Yeah. Woo. I think that's one of my titles one day. <laughs> that's a title yeah. by itself. Give and it shall be given. How can I give? How can I receive mercy if I don't give mercy? How, he's talking. The message is all in there. Yeah. It's, it's, it's throughout the whole Bible. Christ gave compassion. God loved the world. He look, I'm giving you love, y'all. I'm giving you love. So Everything that was required of us, everything that was, let me change that, everything that we were lacking. Yes, sir. 
Christ gave it to us. And he took what we had. He took it. He took it. And gave us Woo. what he had. Woo. So we he can. Had, he, he gave us. He, he took on our unrighteousness and gave us his righteousness. Yes, sir. He took on our weakness and gave us his strength. Come on. He took on our unholiness and gave us his holiness. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He, he took on our sin and, and, and gave us his, his, his sinlessness. Yes, sir. You know? <laughs> I yes. mean, everything that, that, was, that came short in us. He gave to he, us. And gave to us. Yes, sir. He, he, met, he met the need for everyone in this entire world. Deep. And whether they received it or not, Deep. he paid the penalty for this entire world, past, present, and future, whether they receive him or not. That's what makes him so worthy. And you know, I want to throw something at you that what you just said too kind of remind me of the talents that he gave those people. He gave one five talents, one two talent one one talent and he said basically they're supposed to multiply them god just want to throw that in what you just said he gave so you can give yeah multiply it come on brother he said give he gave forgiveness he gave you righteousness he gave you mercy he gave you grace so give it. He gave you life. He gave you life. He said, my faith, he said, my words are what? Spirit. Yeah. And my word is life. What do he wants you to do with it? Give, and it shall be given. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over. To men, give unto your bosom. You'll get mercy, because you gave mercy. Huh? You, you, yeah. you get love. Because you gave love. Yeah. Huh? Come on, bro. It's, it's a pattern. It's a pattern. And we're going to leave with that, right? And then I think we'll set enough to show. If, if they don't get this, and we'll keep faith coming back, what? Hearing and hearing and hearing again. Yeah. But what you just said is that default that you said a couple of weeks ago, we just, we even refined that today. The default of man is to find fault in somebody else. It's not me. It's that joker you gave me. And, for, and, and on top of that, you gave it. <laughs> Adam. <laughs> See, I, I, God, you took, look, I think that's the answer. We're talking about when people sit there and somebody passed away, right? They, they sit there and say, you gave me this person and then you took that person away from me wow it How even bothers me when they say you know god needed them more for what <laughs> he gave Why, what, 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 what does god need uh, uh a particular soul yeah. and spirit in heaven for right Right. We try to come up with excuses. We don't forget about the fact that, you know what? That little time that that person been in your life, that was a gift from God. Yeah. You wouldn't have known. Look, if you had never known that person, if that person was never in your life, you would never get the blessings and the, and, the, and, the, and the appreciation of that person. Think about it. We don't look at that. You see what I'm saying is? We're looking at the tragic end opposed to the, because that's the default of man. We don't look at the fact that man, I